hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the juice from the palace of oni of ife my people they said allegedly the king have finally have a change of mind towards queen naomi's freedom as they said that the elders are happy they are very much happy as the king have summoned them to discuss the way forward to queen naomi's freedom Hey, hey. According to what we are hearing, you know, they said this started as soon as the when uh, when Naomi called the king and slammed him over uh, Lola and his attitude towards all those women in the palace. Recall that they said Lola visited Queen Naomi in Akure on Saturday, uh, and one thing we also heard is that they said Queen Naomi disgraced and. Uh, 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 embarrassed Lola as in she went uh, she left that place in shame because according to what we are hearing they said she came on time on uh, she got an information that when Naomi will be visiting Akure that Saturday so she went there some said she went there to tell when Naomi that there was no marriage as people have been rumoring that uh, uh, there have been rumors that uh, uh, she got married to the king secretly and some said that Lola went to Akure to explain things to her you know but if you ask me if I thought Lola went there she went there on a different mission yes that is my own uh, thought so but they said as she got there Queen Naomi did not even notice her that all her effort towards drawing the attention of Queen Naomi they said Queen Naomi did not even pay attention to her as in the kind of disgrace that she gave to her she never imagined it and she left in shame so after that visit they said we now may reach out to the king in anger and told him never to allow any of his concubines or olories visit him visit her again that she should he should be shameful of his uh, attitude he claims that he has nothing to do with Lola, like the bad moves, and so many of them, yet they, they have chalets in his palace. That is he the only king that have uh, feelings for women or cannot control his thing. So they said the way when Naomi talked and slammed the king, that the king wasn't, uh, was so upset with that, that he got angry and retorted back telling okay, telling uh queen naomi that all these things that she is saying they are not true that the issue of pregnancy because they said queen naomi also slammed him over the pregnancy from the uh, lorries in the palace and in anger he told her that uh, there's that no one is pregnant for him that all his effort these days was towards as uh, seeing that he ret she returns back to the palace so they said the way when Naomi told her that she is not even interested in her, in him any longer. That all she is waiting for is the right time so that he will free her and she will go her way. That she don't want to have anything to do with him again. They said after all this anger, eh, after this altercation between the two, that in anger the king now decides to release Queen Naomi as in to free her completely. As they said, he discussed it with his... Uh, uh, brother, the uh, the dark one, he discussed that with uh, his brother and summoned all the elders so that they can discuss on the on Queen Naomi's freedom. But something happened, my people. They say something happened. <laughs> okay, uh, they all gathered for that discussion. All of them gathered for the discussion. Both the elders, so and you know that the elders are happy with that decision of his because they, some of them are congratulating him already. Because when they uh, get the message that the king wants to see them for discussion of Queen Naomi's freedom, they said all of them we are jubilating, and I believe they must have declared the message to the queens, uh, to the Oloris in the palace, and they too will be happy that finally. They might not leave the palace because if truly the king uh, releases Queen Naomi, definitely they won't be leaving the palace any longer. And in that note, that means some of the elders who have been kicking against them leaving the palace must have achieved their aim and they will eat the money they gave them in peace. <laughs> so my people, 
they said all of them have gathered, you know, congratulating the king, telling him, now you are doing like your father, you are a man, this and that. They said, at the moment, all of them were waiting for the king to speak about that freedom. He's, he's changed his mind and started telling them that uh, he summoned them so that they can go to Queen Naomi's family and uh, uh, update them on his effort towards bringing their daughter back to the palace. They said everyone was disappointed, including his brother. The dark one, they said he was, uh, he was the first person he discussed that with and the, the man was happy with his decision and for Queen Naomi too. Because that has been their prayer, so that Quinomi will live a good life. Because they know that Quinomi is, is not that type of a woman that will want to come to the palace and be dragging position with other women. Women old enough to be her mother. So they said the brother was very shocked at what his brother, uh, the king, started talking about. Uh, contrary to what he discussed with him. They said all of them were like, what exactly is happening? Is it that uh, he was under influence of something when he take that decision? Or something is manipulating him? I don't know. Uh, they said that they were all confused. There was a state of confusion amidst them. As in all of them was, what exactly is happening? I'm sure the king himself will be uh, confused again. Because after he must have uh, uh, said all that he said, he will be asking himself, what exactly is happening? What did I just do? Because... That any decision you make in a hurry, <laughs> sometimes you might live to regret it. I believe he, he, he made the decision of freeing Quinomi in a hurry. And on a second thought, uh, he uh, got himself back. I don't know. So, but they said all of them were disappointed at his discussion, contrary to his uh, meeting agenda. Because they, they said the agenda of the meeting was to discuss Queen Naomi's freedom. And when he came, he started to, uh, telling them uh, uh, how some of them would go to Akure uh, elders and update, update them on his effort towards bringing back their daughter to the palace. <laughs> Yay. But from the look of this, so Queen Naomi is done with this marriage. I don't think she would want to return back to the palace. I don't know. I don't know. It's not in my place to decide what I'm just saying from uh what i'm seeing yes i'm just saying from what i'm seeing and the, the best decision the king will make is to release queen naomi so that they will raise prince tadenika uh, uh, well that is what i think guys i don't know what you think but all i know is that the same god that pushed him into uh putting that meeting might one day push that word out of his mouth and not just the word will lead him into doing the actions too so that when Naomi will be free unless it is still the will of God that when Naomi will return back to that palace because we don't know what God wants for when Naomi it is only God that knows what he wants for his daughter and it is only his will that will be done so my people, now so we hear the, uh, now so we hear them more. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? And what do you think? Say it on the comment section. Share this video and like the video, and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. And don't forget, I still love you guys. Bye for now. Love you guys.